Hello guys and welcome back to my special vehicle guide which today will be a bit different but seriously interesting. We will check out colorless rims vehicles which make it possible for you to have special lusters on more than 700 body color combinations. So let's check that out right now. Getting those special vehicles is not what makes them difficult to understand. All you need to do is just casually finish the mission, complications and then drive away from the dealership and back. Driving away after mission pass is a key element since four vehicles that spawn in the shop right after pass are different special vehicles covered in a previous video. However, we are here for four vehicles which have colorless rims and they only spawn if you drive away and back. Getting them to actually spawn in the shop is not easy especially if you play the enhanced version. Mostly, first time the dealership will show up empty and you have to circle around the block for millions of years until vehicles finally decide to pop up in there. Driving a BJ or tailgater may also prevent the said model from spawning in the shop, so I suggest circling in some other vehicle. Those who wonder, these are actually free roam vehicles which spawn there from the very first mission repossession until Mr. Phillips. However, the only case when you can get inside the shop both easily and properly is between complications and father's son. So whatever you are thinking, do not leave those vehicles for later since they may spawn and even be accessible but still impossible to get and in what way, you should get to know by the end of that video. If those vehicles finally spawn in there, both BJs and tailgaters in the shop are all equally special and have colorless rims. Colorless rims is a very unique but cool property which literally means what it says. Wheels have no color whatsoever. If you check those rims in Los Santos Customs, you might easily be fooled by the white or light grey tone and think it's just a special color. Meanwhile, it is not, since not a single program can detect this color from 160 tones this game has to offer. What you actually see on rims is vehicle base model tone, something you can actually visually see and understand if you open up Secret Rockstar's files in the game folder and take a look at this vehicle model. Then you'll see how that mysterious rim color is matching to what you see in the model file. And this proves how the rims are actually colorless, not painted. Colorless property could easily be considered the most legitimate property in GDA, since there are no mods or tools to recreate such special vehicle. If some of you are against special vehicles and think they are pointless since you can always cheat them, then having colorless vehicles in your save is surely a sign of legitimacy. All this is either Rockstar's genius troll or they fucked something up big time. I don't know, but the fact is that those vehicles are very broken and their faults can be used for something seriously cool. Those who don't know, each time you paint your vehicle in the mod shop, a default percent is added on your vehicle as well. This is not random, each primary color has its very own percent which it always gets. For example, painting your vehicle metallic silver will always give you the ice white percent and you can do nothing about it unless you change this from the percent menu itself. Secondary and wheel color have no affections to this. What you might not know though, is that among those default percents, you can actually find tones which are not in the actual percent menu. For example, painting your vehicle metallic lava red will always put matte yellow percent on your vehicle, even though matte yellow itself does not exist in percent menu. This is obviously all rare, if done on normal vehicles, since you can infinitely paint your vehicle lava red and thus it won't be considered special in any way, though if you bring in the colorless property, it will change the world. 
So if you don't know, Percent and Luster and Weakle always change together. What's if a mission has a Lustered Weakle, then alongside with the Luster, wheel color will change with it. And now, if the wheel color is completely missing and the connection is broken, things can get really screwed up if you enter the mod shop. Before we get to the mod shop part though, I will have to cover all the dangers that affect colorless rims and there are quite a few. First of all, you can only save those vehicles to safe house garage. Impounds quick saving and interior carriages all delete the colorless property and make the vehicle completely useless so make sure to keep a spot ready in your safe house. Secondly, switching characters will also delete the colorless property which can lead to another chain of issues. For example, you will have to steal the vehicle with Michael and save it as Michael or steal it as Franklin and save it as Franklin. You can never trade the vehicle and that is also the reason why colorless vehicles are actually impossible to get beyond father son, since even if you are able to glitch into dealership, you'd still have to switch characters to get back out in your vehicle, which as we discussed, deletes colorless rims, so this all would have no point in the end. However, if you follow those rules and take care of your special property, you can enter mod shop and see their true potential. But dangers do exist in the mod shop as well, so be careful. First rule is that whenever you enter mod shop, you must absolutely never touch wheels. If you give your vehicle random wheels, bear in mind that you can never be able to get back stock rims, even with glitches, since glitches require switching which deletes the colorless property. You can literally never have colorless stock rims again, so please don't change your rims. However, if you still decide that it's a fine thing to do, then something you should avoid even more is opening wheel color menu. That has to stay completely out of touch since whatever wheel color you see replaces the colorless rims even if you don't buy anything and turns your vehicle into a box of junk once again. The nature behind random wheel colors staying on your rims regardless of your actions with money can be used for pearl sense as well. And as we discussed how many primary tones in my shop give a pearl scent which is not found in the pearl scent list, you can actually create over 700 special combinations with those pearl scents. And here's how. First step is entering the mod shop and giving your vehicle absolutely any primary and secondary tones you like. Literally, you can choose any color imaginable. I would suggest darker tones though, since pearl scents on them would look much better. Secondly, just exit the mod shop and get back inside. As discussed, Watching any percent or wheel color will automatically get added on your vehicle due to broken colorless connection. But why should we care about persons which are found in the menu? We would want a percent we could not ever normally get thanks to some primary tones which own those. In short, idea is watching a primary color and the percent it gives will just stay on your previously chosen body color even after you exit the matchup. For example, if I take a look at metals, pure gold or brushed gold, which naturally give the special MP100 gold spec pearl scent, it will just casually stay on my car even if I buy absolutely nothing and exit the mod shop. You can never have that pearl scent on that body color and that is all thanks to the colorless broken effect. Obviously, brushed gold and pure gold as body colors are not special with that luster, which should be obvious since that is something you can always get. Brushed and pure gold as well as the MP100 gold spec are all colors which got added to the game much later after the version 1.0 for Xbox 360 and PS3 so sadly this cool luster is not available for those early versions. And now I will mention all primary colors which you need to watch to get different persons which are not found in the normal person list. Watching metallic lava red gives you matte yellow pearl scent. This is also the reason why colorless yellow tailgater is not better than the blue one. Matte yellow pearl scent can be glitched on both of them. Watching metallic carnet or candy red gives you warm blue silver luster. 
watching metallic sunset red or copper net red gives you worn golden red. Watching metallic sunrise orange gives you worn shadow silver luster. Watching metallic olive or bright green gives you worn green luster. Watching metallic gasoline green or harbor blue will both give worn sea wash luster. Watching metallic saxon blue or mariner blue will both give worn light blue luster. Watching metals brushed steel gives you the util silver luster. And finally, watching metals pure gold or brushed gold both give you MP100 gold spec luster. Good thing about those vehicles is if you screw something up, you can always go to dealership and get a new one until you pass father's son. What is also good is that you can change your car color combinations and try different lusters infinitely, even after 100% completion of the game, as long as you don't lose the colorless effect on rims. Despite sounding very complex and hard, those vehicles are actually seriously cool and amazing, so I suggest you watch my video and pay attention to get maximum out of those amazing vehicles. Of course, you can always just save those to safe house and do nothing in the mod shop, they will still be special and available for experimenting which is rather optional than needed, but cool nevertheless. For the end of this video I would rate those vehicles easy to get. They honestly are easy to get and very cool if you understand the mystery behind them, but are still special and good for a save if you don't. Thank you all for watching. If you guys like this video please consider subscribing and hitting the like button and also make sure to click that notification bell to hear about everything related to GTA 5 special vehicles.